BYD isn't just China's largest automaker. It's a technological powerhouse that's revolutionizing the electric vehicle industry. In 2023, BYD sold over 3 million new energy vehicles worldwide, and they're on track to eclipse that number this year in 2024. But it's not just about the numbers. BYD's rapid growth and success are built on a foundation of cutting edge technologies that set them apart from the competition. Today, we're gonna to go through five technologies developed by BYD that make them stand out from the crowded EV and hybrid market. That and more on this episode of Beyond EV, your home of everything BYD. Hi everyone, David from Beyond EV, and in this video, we're gonna explore five technologies developed by BYD that make them a true innovator in the EV and hybrid vehicle space. But before we dive in, I just wanted to say a quick thank you for your amazing support. My recent BYD SEAL ownership video has become the second most popular video on this channel with a lot of positive comments and feedback from fellow owners and potential buyers. If you'd like to support Beyond EV further, we now have a membership program starting at just $3 a month. Members get perks like early access to videos and Beyond EV store discounts. So check it out if you're interested. Click on the join button below for more info. But for now, let's get back to the video. The Blade battery is BYD's proprietary lithium iron phosphate battery technology introduced in 2020. But what makes it special? Well, let's break it down. Safety. The Blade battery sets a new standard for EV battery safety. In nail penetration tests where a nail is driven through the battery to simulate severe damage, the BYD Blade battery didn't catch fire or explode. In fact, it barely even got hot. To put this into perspective, many conventional lithium ion batteries can reach temperatures of over 500 degrees Celsius and burst into flames under similar conditions. BYD even went as far as to crush the battery with a 46 ton truck and even bake it in an oven at 300 degrees Celsius. In all these extreme scenarios, the Blade battery remains stable. This level of safety is a game changer for the EV industry, potentially saving lives and reducing range anxiety related to battery safety concerns. Longevity. The Blade battery isn't just safe, it's built to last. It can endure over 3,000 charge cycles, which is equivalent to driving over 1.2 million kilometers. To put that in perspective, if you drove 50 kilometers every single day, this battery would last you over 65 years. This exceptional lifespan far exceeds the typical lifespan of any car, meaning that in all likelihood, the Blade battery will outlast the vehicle it's powering. This longevity not only provides peace of mind to BYD owners, but also contributes to the sustainability of EVs by reducing the need for battery replacements over the life of the vehicle. Cost effectiveness. The Blade battery uses LFP battery chemistry, which consists of the elements lithium, ion, and phosphate. These elements are much more abundant and significantly cheaper to process than other EV battery chemistries, such as NMC batteries that use nickel, cobalt, and manganese. For context, cobalt, a key component in NMC batteries costs about $30,000 per tonne, while the iron used in LFP batteries costs just $100 per tonne. This massive difference in material costs translates directly to more affordable EVs for consumers. Moreover, the simpler and more stable chemistry of LFP batteries means they're cheaper to produce and have a lower environmental impact. This cost effectiveness is a crucial factor in BYD's ability to produce high quality EVs at competitive prices, making electric mobility more accessible to a broader range of consumers. The BYD Blade battery technology is so innovative it goes beyond just BYD. BYD's Blade battery is used by a number of other global automotive manufacturers to power their EVs. For instance, Tesla Model Y vehicles manufactured out of the Tesla Berlin Gigafactory use BYD Blade battery sourced directly from BYD in China. Toyota and the BZ3X and BZ3C e vehicles, both EVs made specifically for the Chinese domestic market, and both use BYD Blade batteries as their power source. Even the new Xpeng Mona 03, the ultra low $16,000 sedan recently announced for sale in China, even that uses BYD's Blade battery to power their platform. Other automakers are taking notice and BYD's Blade battery technology could just be the key to making EVs more accessible and safer for everyone.
Next up is a technology that's changing the way we think about EV design, cell to body technology. Cell to body or CTB is BYD's innovative approach to integrating battery cells directly into the vehicle structure. This isn't just a minor tweak to car design, it's a fundamental rethinking of how we build electric vehicles. So let's break down why it's so groundbreaking. Weight reduction. Traditional EVs have a separate battery pack that's added to the car structure. It's essentially a big, heavy box bolted to the underside of the chassis. With BYD's cell to body technology, the battery cells become of the car's structure itself. Imagine if the floor of your car was made of batteries. That's essentially what CTB does. This integration eliminates the need for a separate battery housing, mounting brackets, and other components. The result? A significantly lighter vehicle. For context in some models using cell to body, the BYD has achieved weight reductions of up to 100 kilograms, or 220 pounds, compared to traditional designs. This is like removing a full grown adult from the car. This weight saving is crucial in EVs, where every kilogram impacts performance and efficiency. Increased range. The weight reduction from cell to body directly translates to increased range, which is a big deal when it comes to EVs. Every time you accelerate or climb a hill in an EV, you're using energy to move not just the passengers and cargo, but the weight of the car itself. The lighter the car, the less energy it needs to move. BYD estimates that the weight reduction from CTB can increase range by up to 10% in some models. That might not sound like much, but in real world terms, that could mean an extra 30 to 50 kilometers of range in a single charge. That's enough to alleviate range anxiety for many drivers and could be the difference between needing to charge during a long trip or making it to your destination in a single charge. Enhanced safety. You might think that using the battery as part of the car's structure would make it more vulnerable in a crash, but it's actually the opposite. The CTB design allows for more even distribution of forces in a collision. Instead of having a separate battery pack that could potentially be damaged or dislodged in a severe impact, the CTB structure spreads the force of an impact across the entire floor of the vehicle. Moreover, this design allows BYD to create a stronger overall vehicle structure. In crash tests, cars with CTB technology have shown improved protection for both the battery and the passengers. This is translated in crash test results in the most recent models that have all have been tested to achieve five star scores when submitted to either NCAP or ANCAP for crash testing. Space efficiency. One of the biggest challenges in EV design is finding space for the large battery pack without compromising interior room or cargo space. CTB elegantly solves this problem. By integrating the battery cells into the floor of the structure, BYD can make the most of the available space. This means that CTB equipped vehicles can have more interior space compared to traditional EVs with the same size exterior size. In practical terms, this could mean a more spacious cabin, a larger trunk, or both. For example, in the BYD Seal, which uses CTB technology, the interior space is comparable to cars in a class above its size category. If you watched my last video when I said my BYD Seal has more rear passenger legroom compared to my old Ford Falcon, CTB is the reason why. Additionally, this space efficiency allows for more flexible design options. Designers can create sleeker, more aerodynamic exteriors without sacrificing interior space, further contributing to the vehicle's efficiency and range. The CTB technology showcases BYD's innovative approach to EV design. It's not just about putting an electric powertrain into a traditional car body. It's about reimagining the entire vehicle architecture to maximize the benefits of electric propulsion. This holistic approach to design is a key reason why BYD's vehicles are able to achieve impressive performance, efficiency, and safety standards. Our third technology is something that's set to shake up the world of off-road vehicles, the dual mode off-road or DMO platform. The DMO platform featuring vehicles like the BOW5 and the upcoming BYD Shark coming to Australia combines the best of electric and combustion engine technologies. Dual power sources. The DMO platform is a hybrid system, but not in the way you might be thinking. It combines a powerful electric motor for daily driving with a combustion engine for long range trips or situations where charging isn't readily available. For your daily commute or short trips, you can run entirely on electric power, enjoying zero emissions and the instant torque that EVs are famous for. But when you're heading out for a long off-road adventure or find yourself in an area without charging infrastructure, the combustion engine kicks in. 
This isn't just about convenience, it's about versatility and having the best of both worlds. Eco-friendly for daily use and adventure ready for when you need it. Impressive range. One of the most striking features of the Demo platform is its incredible range. We're talking about up to 1200 kilometers or 745 miles of combined range. To put that into perspective, that's like driving from Los Angeles to San Francisco and then back to LA on a single fill up and charge. For off-road enthusiasts, this is a game changer. This means you can venture further into the wilderness, explore remote areas and spend more time enjoying the great outdoors without worrying about running out of power or fuel. Moreover, this extended range addresses one of the main concerns people have about electric vehicles for long trips or off-road use, and that's range anxiety. It becomes a thing of the past, whether you're on the highway or off the beaten path. Powerful performance. The DMO platform isn't just about range, it's also about raw power. With over 500 kilowatts or 670 horsepower at its disposal, vehicles built on this platform are absolute powerhouses. This level of power ensures that DMO equipped vehicles can handle any terrain you can throw at them. The combination of electric and combustion power sources allows for incredible torque delivery, crucial for off-road performance. But it's not just about off-road capability. This power translates to an impressive on-road performance too. Vehicles like the BYD Shark can accelerate from 0 to 100 km an hour in 5.2 seconds. That means that the BYD Shark Ute will be faster than my aerodynamic BYD Seal Sedan. Advanced V2L Capability V2L, or Vehicle to Load, is a feature that allows you to use your vehicle as a power source. But the DMO platform takes this to a whole new level. BYD's DMO platform can allow vehicles to output up to 6 kilowatts of power. That's about three times what most other electric vehicle V2L systems can offer. It essentially turns your vehicle into a mobile power station. This feature is incredibly useful for camping trips, outdoor events, or even in emergency situations. Imagine being able to power your entire campsite, run power tools, or even provide emergency power during outages. It's not just a cool feature, it's a capability that can fundamentally change how we think about vehicle utility. The V2L capacity of the upcoming BYD Shark has yet to be revealed, but given it's running on the same platform as the BOW5, it is a very strong chance it will have 6 kilowatt output. The DMO platform shows that BYD isn't just focusing on city cars, they're ready to take on the rugged off-road market too. Number four on this list is a technology that's pushing the boundaries of electric performance, the E4 platform. Featured in the Yang Wang U9 supercar, the E4 platform is a quad motor system that offers unparalleled control and performance. Individual wheel control. The E4 platform's defining feature is its quad motor system, which means each wheel has its own dedicated electric motor. With traditional drivetrains, power is distributed to the wheels through mechanical differentials. Even in dual motor EVs, you typically have one motor for the front axle and one for the rear. But with the E4 platform, each wheel can be controlled independently and instantaneously. This level of control allows for incredibly precise torque vectoring. The vehicle can adjust the power to each wheel in milliseconds, optimizing traction, handling and performance in ways that were previously impossible. Imagine taking a corner and having exactly the right amount of power delivered to each wheel for perfect grip and acceleration. That's what the E4 platform can do. Incredible power. The E4 platform in the Yang Wang U9 delivers a combined output of 960 kilowatts, which translates to a staggering 1,288 horsepower. To put that into perspective, that's more power than a Bugatti Veyron, and that's on par with some of the most advanced hypercars in the world. But it's not just about the raw numbers. The way this power is delivered is what sets the E4 platform apart. With four independent motors, the power delivery can be incredibly smooth and precise with perfect power distribution for maximum acceleration. Unique capabilities. The E4 platform enables some truly unique features that showcase the potential of this technology. For example, vehicles equipped with this platform can perform a 360 degree tank turn, spinning in place like a top. While this might seem like a party trick, it demonstrates the incredible level of control this system provides. Another feature enabled by the E4 platform is crab walking, where the vehicle can move diagonally. This can be incredibly useful in tight parking situations or for maneuvering in off-road scenarios. But perhaps most impressively, the E4 platform allows the vehicle to continue driving even if one or two wheels lose contact with the ground. The remaining motors can adjust instantly to keep the vehicle moving and stable. This level of redundancy and adaptability can be crucial in extreme driving conditions or in emergency situations. 
While currently reserved for BYD's high-end vehicles, this technology showcases the company's engineering prowess and hints at future innovations that could trickle down to more affordable models. What is on your mind? What is on your mind? Last but certainly not least, we have BYD's DSUS Intelligent Hydraulic Body Control System. This isn't just another adaptive suspension system, it's a technological leap that's changing how we think about vehicle dynamics and comfort. And when I say technological leap, I don't mean figuratively either. Cars fitted with the BYD DSUS suspension system can literally leap into the air on the spot. Let's break down what makes DSUS so special. Adaptive Suspension at its core, DSUS is an advanced adaptive suspension system, but calling it just that would be like calling a smartphone a phone. The system can adjust each wheel suspension in real time based on road conditions, driving style, and even the vehicle's speed and direction. Traditional adaptive suspension systems typically have a few preset modes like comfort or sport. DSUS, on the other hand, operates on a continuous spectrum, making micro adjustments thousands of times a second. It's like having a suspension expert constantly tuning your car as you drive. The system uses a network of sensors to monitor road conditions, vehicle speed, acceleration, and even the driver's inputs. This data is processed by BYD's advanced algorithms to predict what the suspension needs to do next, and not just react to what's just happened. Enhanced stability. One of the most impressive features of DSARS is its ability to virtually eliminate body roll during cornering. In a traditional car, when you take a sharp turn, the body tends to lean away from the direction of the turn. This can make the car feel less stable and reduce driver confidence. DSARS counteracts this by instantly stiffening the suspension on the outer side of the turn while softening it on the inside. The result is the car stays remarkably flat through corners, improving both handling and passenger comfort. But it's not just about cornering, DSUS also improves stability during acceleration, braking and even in crosswinds. It can adjust the suspension to counteract dive during hard braking, squat during acceleration and keeping the car level and improving traction. Off-road capabilities While DSUS shines on the road, it's also a game changer for off-road driving. In vehicles like the Yangwang U8, DSUS enables some truly remarkable features. First, there's the adjustable ride height. The system can raise or lower the vehicle on demand, providing extra ground clearance for rough terrain or lowering it for better aerodynamics on the highway. But perhaps the most impressive off-road feature is what BYD calls the bounce mode. If the vehicle gets stuck in deep sand or mud, DSUS can actually make the car jump. It rapidly extends all four suspensions, effectively bouncing the car up and down to help it get unstuck. It's like the car is doing a little dance to free itself. This capability goes beyond just being a cool little party trick. It could fundamentally change how drivers approach extreme off-road situations where traditional recovery methods might not be available. DSUS demonstrates BYD's commitment to not just performance, but also comfort and versatility across the entire range of vehicle classes, from sports cars to utes to SUVs. These five technologies showcase why BYD is much more than just another EV manufacturing company. An electric or hybrid vehicle is much, much more than just what its infotainment system can do. And BYD are at the forefront of pushing the boundaries of what's possible in all aspects of electric and hybrid vehicle manufacturing. So which of these technologies impressed you the most? Or is there another innovation that I might have missed? Let me know down in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. We've got plenty more BYD content headed your way. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.